In this video, we've got five people, A, B, C, D, and E, are to be matched to five tasks, R, S, T, U, and V. The table shows the tasks that each person is able to undertake. Part A, show this information on a bipartite graph. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have some nodes A, B, C, D, and E. And I'm going to label them. So A, B, C, D, and E. Don't forget to label. Then we've got the tasks uh, R, S, T, U, and V. So R, S, T, U, and V. And make sure you label those. Okay? And then we're just going to do dot to dot and join these up. So A can do R and V. Now I would definitely use a ruler to do this. So R and V. Then we've got B can do R and T. R and T. Then we've got C does T and V. So T and V. Uh, then we've got D can do U and V. And then E can do S and U. Okay. Right. So that is my bipartite graph. That's part A. Part B, find a complete matching such that each person is matched to a task. So that's my part A. My part B... I need to match up A, B, C, D, and E with a task. OK, so the first thing you need to do is look for any task that can only be done by one person. Now, in this case, we have one, and that's E. So E can do task S, and they're the only one that can do that. So E has to do S in order to make a complete matching. So that means E and S are dealt with. So that means that E can't do U. So the only other person that can do U is D. So D has to do U. So that's that. Now if D is doing U, D can't do V. Okay. So either C does V or A does V. Okay, so we've got a couple of options there. So let's work it through. So if C does V, that means that T would have to be done by B, which means that R would have to be done by A. Okay, and so that works out. If instead we'd connected A with V, then B would have to do R, so T would have to be done by C. So actually, there appears to be two possible ways of doing this. So we've either got C with V. OK, so that connects those two. And then that means we've got B and T. And then we'd have A and R. Or alternatively, OK, we are forced with D and E to have... Uh, U and S. If instead, so we've matched up that one and that one, don't we? Let's get rid of that one and that one. Okay. If instead we'd had A and V, okay, then we would have had B and R, and then we would have had to have had C with T. Okay. So there are two variations, two possible ways of doing. Com a complete matching here. So the question is just asking to find a complete matching and either of those two answers would be perfectly fine.